What it do, y'all? What it do? What it do? Come on in, come on in, come on in. We chillin', we chillin'. You already know exactly what time it is. We're back at a certain mode game on the ground for the Hunger Hounds. We just got the pound and are ready for the next round. So with that being said, man, you see the episode, the name of the episode, the topic, whatever you want to call it, the live, and it, we're going to be talking about how your strength will be tested. Your resolve will be tested. And it'll be tested through struggles, through hard times, through tough times, through weak times, sad times, whatever the case may be, it will be tested. There's no way to get around the tests. There's no way to get around the trials and tribulations that you go through in life. It is what it is. Everybody goes through them. Everybody goes through their times. Everybody has their seasons of growth, of pain, weakness, depression. Everybody has their seasons. And each time you go through a season and you get through it the other side, you come out stronger. Each time you go through one of these seasons, you're going to come out the other side stronger. When you go through the tunnel, when you're in that cave, and you don't see the light, but you keep pushing, you're going to get stronger by the time you get out of it. When you see that light, you're going to start pushing even more and more at the end of the tunnel to get to it. But while you're going through it, it's going to suck because you can't see it. And that's the whole point. It's to make you stronger. Everybody always talks about how hard it is. Everybody always talks about their struggles and this, that, and the third. Life wouldn't be what it is if you didn't have struggles. Life wouldn't be what it is. You wouldn't be who you are if you didn't go through these seasons, these tough times. You can say that you're strong, that you're tough, whether it's physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, whatever the case may be. You can say that you're all these things, but you won't truly know if you are until it's time to be tested. You can say that you have what, what you need to get through certain times, but you won't know if you really have it until it's time for you to go through it. It's easy to say something, but it's a whole different story to actually do it. It's easy to say that you would never do something, that you could persevere through something. But it's a whole different story until you actually have to do it. People all the time, all around, talk the big game about what they can do, what they won't do. But they don't know that until it's time for them to go through it. They won't know what they really can or can't do until it's time for them to go through their tests, their seasons. I've talked to multiple people who say that they're they can go through anything, man. They, they can have everything taken away from them and they'll still be who they are. But they're saying that because they've never had it happen. They have such high confidence in themselves, but they've never gone through the test to prove whether or not they actually would remain who they are. There's a lot of people out there who have things taken away from them and they start crashing out because of it. There's a lot of people out there who have loss, who deal with loss, whether it's a family member or a materialistic thing and they start crashing out because they don't know what to do with themselves. There's a whole lot of people out there who want so bad to prove that they're this, that, and the third, but there's no way for them to prove it because they haven't gone through it yet. Just remember that in life, there's always gonna to be tough times. You're gonna fall, you're gonna slide back down the mountain that you're climbing up, and it's gonna be hard to get, to get back up to where you were. It's going to be hard. You're going to want to give up. You're going to want to quit. I know. I've been there. I've been there multiple times. Sometimes I feel like I'm still there sometimes. But you got to get up and get, you got to keep climbing because that mountain ain't going to climb itself. That hill ain't going to climb itself. That boulder ain't going to move by itself. You've got to be the one to move it. If you can't move it, nobody else is going to move it. These tests and the struggles and the seasons, they are designed to make you stronger. They're designed to make you more harder, I guess you could say, more calloused when it comes to certain things. So you can deal with the, with the future a lot easier, a lot better. You'll know what to do. The first time you go through that season, you're not going to know what to do because you've never gone through it before. And if you give up going through that season, then you ain't going to get nowhere. You're going to be stuck. You're going to be stuck, and you're going to wish that you could do this, that, and the third. You're going to wish you could get out of it, 
you're going to sit around and you're going to feel sorry for yourself but you can't do that you got to get up and you got to keep going you got to brush yourself off brush yourself off scrape your knees brush it off scrape your hands brush it off pick yourself back up keep going it's hard out here but that's how it's supposed to be because life wouldn't be life if it wasn't hard Life wouldn't be the way that it is today if it wasn't hard. And you wouldn't be who you are today if you didn't go through those seasons. You ain't going to be who you're supposed to be in the future if you don't go through those seasons. You got to go through them. You have to go through them. Deep waters may look scary. The waves crashing over may look terrifying. But you got to go through it anyways. Because you can't. You can't cheat. You can't cheat your way around. You can't walk around the ocean. You can't walk around the waters. You can't walk around that mountain. You can't walk around that hill. The only way through, the only way to the other side is to go through. The only way to the other side is to go up. Everybody has to go through at some point. Everybody's wandered through the desert at some point. Everybody's wandered through the jungle. Everybody's crawled through a cave. Everybody's swam through deep waters. Some people make it out and some others don't. Some people make it down the other side of the mountain. Some people don't even make it halfway up the mountain. Some people don't even make it a quarter of the way. Some people don't even start going up the mountain because they're terrified of what's going to what's going to come on their way up. They're terrified to deal with new experiences and difficulties, and then the people that ain't never going to get nowhere. If you got that type of mindset, you might as well stop. If you got that type of mindset, there's no point in you even trying to keep going. You gotta strengthen yourself, your mind. You gotta will your way through it. Pick yourself up. Will your way through it. Keep walking. Keep crawling, keep climbing, keep swimming, whatever you gotta do. Once you see that light through the other side of the tunnel, once you see the top of that mountain, once you see land on the other side of that water, you're going to start moving faster and faster and faster. Some people move so fast that they end up falling anyway. Some people move so fast that they end up scraping themselves. Some people move so fast that they end up falling, getting pulled in the water. you got to be careful with how you move, but you got to move at a good pace. you got to keep moving at a good pace. You can't stop. You can't give up. It's important. You'll never get nowhere, if you, especially if you got people that are relying on you, people who need you to provide for them. It is really important that you don't stop because those are the ones that you <clears throat> really supposed to be doing it for, the ones that are relying on you because they need you to do it. They can't survive if you don't do it. They can't survive if you don't do it. You're supposed to do it. You have to do it. Otherwise... Everybody else around you, including yourself, that's relying on you, they're all going to fall. And they're going to remember you as the one who let them fall. Don't be the one who let them fall. There's a lot of pressure out here. It's a lot of stress on you to get through. you got to be the leader. you got to be the one to do it. So make sure you do it. So that being said, man, make sure y'all share with your friends, your families, mummies, aunties, your grannies, and everybody else y'all know. I got to get up on out of here. I got things to take care of. Deuces.